हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू क्रिएट एन एप्पल आईडी इन टुडेस वीडियो आई विल गाइड यू थ्रू द प्रोसेस ऑफ कॉन्फ़िगरिंग एन एप्पल पुश सर्टिफिकेट इन द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इंट्यून पोर्टल एन एप्पल पुश एमडीएम सर्टिफिकेट इज एसेंशियल फॉर मैनेजिंग आईओएस आईपैड ओएस and mac os devices in microsoft intune it allows device to enroll using the intune company portal app or apple business enrollment methods like device enrollment program apple school manager and apple configurator one of the important point to note is that these push certificate must be renewed annually so now let's explore how to configure the apple push certificate in microsoft intune portal so to configure an apple push certificate we have to go to the intune portal so let me go to the intune portal and within the intune portal we can either select the mac os or ios ipad os to configure the push notification so i am going to select the mac os and within the mac os we have to click on the mac os enrollment and then we have an option called apple mdm push certificate so i am going to click on this and here we can see that the status is showing as not set up so we have to configure it so to do this we have to follow the following steps so the very first step is to grant the permission to send both users and device in information to the apple so i am going to click on i agree and then second step is to download the csr so csr stands for certificate signing request which is required to create an apple mdm push certificate so i am going to click on download your csr and then click on allow now we can see that the csr file is now downloaded now third step is to create an apple mdm push certificate to do this we have to click on create your mdm push certificate and now this is redirecting me to sign in with the apple id so i am using my apple id and then we have to provide the password let me quickly complete the two factor authentication and after login we are on the apple push certificate portal and then we have to create a certificate to do this i am going to click on create a certificate and then we have to accept the terms and agreement so i am going to click on this and then accept and here we have to upload the .csr file which we already downloaded in the previous step so i am going to click on choose the file and that is in my download folder i am going to select this and upload and now click on upload now we have successfully created a new push certificate with the following informations and, and now we can see the certificate details by clicking on manage certificates and then we can see the detail information and from here we have an option to download as well so i am going to click here to download the certificate and let me allow it now we have successfully downloaded the certificate we can see that we have a certificate with dot pem extension now the next step is to upload this certificate in the intune portal so again i am going to switch back to my intune portal and here we have to provide the apple id through which we generated the certificate so let me provide the apple id and in the fifth step we have to upload the apple mdm push certificate which we generated from the apple push certificate portal so i am going to click on browse and then i am going to select the certificate which we downloaded and now click on upload and now click on upload here and now it's uploading your mdm push certificate and it's saying that your mdm push certificate was successfully created and if we scroll up we can see that the status is now showing as active and we can also see that the day until expiration is 365 and the last update time the apple id which is used to generate this certificate and the subject id 
and the serial number. So this is how we can generate and configure MDM boost certificate to manage the Apple devices. That's all for this video. In the next video, I will show you how to enroll a personal Mac OS device in Intune. I hope this is an informative video for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.